hello, this is Short Me Tina once again from shortmetina.com doing a video recap for ticker EBIO. Right now what you're looking at is a daily chart for the past year. There is too much to be said about EBIO. The chart um, is a relatively bullish chart. I'm seeing something like a rounding bottom formation, which is a bullish pattern in my opinion. How I typically tend to look at rounding bottoms and we can start back here when the pattern started to form. Let's say back in September of 2017, you know, you the stock was in a decline for two months, so investors are selling, 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 selling. And then you get to around November, and then you have this sideways action. So the sideways sort of represents investors saying, you know what, selling should sort of subside, right? So you had selling here, not so much selling going on for, let's see, November to about March. So that's what, about four months. So you declined for two months, sideway action for four months. And most recently, you can say towards the ending of March, early April, investors finally decided to walk this stock back up. So all that's bullish. So it's saying that, you know, they had this four month period was investors sort of time to digest this decline and decide that they wanted to walk this stock back up again. The only reason uh, or f that I have of concern or reason for pause would be these two red arrows here. We tried to penetrate, back when we started this decline, we tried to penetrate that 180 area back in September. We couldn't do it. You know, the stock was, sellers came in, knocked the stock back down. We traded sideways for a bit. We tried once again, an entire year later, or not quite, all, um, not in September, you can say about eight months later or so, we tried again to surpass that 180 level and we couldn't do it. So I'm thinking, at least in the shorter term, this might be a double top. Uh, I do see the stock declining a little bit more from here, but I don't think that the decline uh, will invalidate the chart. So yeah, I had to zoom in a little bit more. So again, um, so just to reiterate, we tried to breach 180 roughly back in September, couldn't do it, stock was knocked back down sideways for about three to four months. We tried once again to breach that 180 mark, couldn't do it, potential double top in, I think it is in for the shorter term. I see the stock going back to around here, which is like 130, which represents about a 20% decline from the close of 162. Now going back to $1.30 in no way invalidates this bullish uh, pattern in my opinion. In fact, going back to 130 perhaps can just more or less strengthen, you know, uh, the next move up. But again, going into tomorrow, the, the upcoming weeks, you definitely want to pay attention to that 130 mark. I do see that in the near term, but as long as we can keep the uh, trading activity above that 130 area, I think the next attempt at 180 will be successful. I think we will break through 180, but I'm expecting a pullback. That shouldn't cause panic. In fact, I think a pullback is needed so we can gear up and try to breach this 180 level again. We couldn't do it back in September had a hard time doing it in April. So we spent about, in fact, you know, if we go all the way back here to um, May of 2017, an entire year ago, we've tried to breach that 180 mark so many times and we've been unsuccessful. So let's see, try to do it once, twice, you know, we can call this three times. And now the fourth time, I think we're gonna get knocked back down, but I think we're gonna gear up, not to sound repetitive, we need to get knocked back down so we can sort of gear up around that 130 mark to bust through that 180. And I think, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. I think the fifth time will be the charm. And if we get above 180, definitely 240 is around the corner. So that's it. Short Me Tina from shortmetina.com. Doing a video recap for EBIO. I said a lot, didn't say so much. Rounding bottom formation, very bullish. Let the stock pull back. Don't fight it. Get in around 130, let it gear up, and you'll definitely see 230 at some point. So that's it. Short Me Tina from shortmetina.com. Head, head on over to shortmetina.com. Sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening, and as always, thank you. <laughs>